Giraffe in the road. Giraffe crossing. Giraffe crossing. <laughs> He's leading your path. Yeah. yeah. He wants to take over. <laughs> yeah, get comfortable, folks. <laughs> yeah, get comfortable, folks. I'm gonna call this in so that they know what. Giraffe out. Sorry, so that uh, we know why they're. They know why we are. So, oh, maybe I won't have to. See out of the road. Come on, I'll let him spit on me, it's cool. Alright. Oh, everyday work problems, am I right? You guys can relate to this. This is the best safari. Up. Yeah. Right. Anyway, thanks for your patience with that. We did not care about your next fast pass. <laughs> right? We could not care less. I will trade you twenty for this ride. Yeah. He's like Avatar. So what? I'm real. <laughs> now all the animals that we're seeing today, every animal on the face of the planet, really, is being. Um, horribly affected by climate change, which is this disastrous phenomenon that is literally ripping the world apart from underneath our feet. And, um, you know, we all know there's a lot going on in the world today, and lots of people don't agree on a lot of things, but one thing that we should all be agreeing on is um, that it is now or never to reverse the effects that we have put upon our planet. Um, and the only way that we can do that is through conservation efforts, which is which are expensive and it is um, it, it's it, it's exhausting. But we have to do it if we're ever going to save our planet. And I don't know if some people are waiting for a divine intervention, waiting for some sort of sign. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> I have literal chills right now. What a sign! Wow! Wow! Divine intervention, incredible animal spottings, and a really handsome driver? This really is a magical place. Dominic wow. deserves a golden globe. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Okay, I see some, um, Elephant tracks in the mud over there. I don't know if we're gonna see anybody, I, but I do have a cool story. About 10 years ago, um, farmers in Africa were poaching elephants as the only means they could think of to stop them from eating all of their crops. An elephant can eat up to 300 right pounds of food at once. And oh yeah, there are some over here. Uh, and as you can imagine, as a struggling African farmer with very little means, um, a hungry elephant next to your open crop field was really bad news. Um, as you can imagine, uh, they, like I said, they were resorting to poaching the elephants to stop them. Another yeah, draft. Yeah, there. Um, but meanwhile, cut to Walt Disney World, where right here on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, we discovered that elephants are afraid of bees. They can hear the buzzing of a bee from up to a mile away. So what we did was we sent the Disney cast members and researchers that discovered that over to Africa, and we lined African crops with fences made out of beehives. And that actually did two things. First, it found um, a great way to make the farmers happy because they were generating a lot more money from all the honey they had from the bees. But second, and much more importantly, we found a really humane way to keep the elephants out of the African croplands. So this is called the Elephants and the Bees Project. It's a brainchild of the Disney Conservation Fund, and like I said, it was started right here on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Kind of cool, huh? Wow. Yeah, now, unfortunately, um, there are still, to this day, about 96 elephant poachings that happen every single day in the wild. 96 a day because of the ivory in their tusks, which we find valuable for some reason. God knows what. But, um... Yeah, there isn't really a positive ending to that story, I suppose. What about duck po poaching? <laughs> Come on! I don't know anything about the ducks. <laughs> um, They're poaching ducks! At least we made a dance with the Elephants and Bees project. But, um, yeah. 